The Thunder Bay Police Services Board will soon be recruiting three community members to join its governance committee. That committee will also have an expanded mandate that will include the recruitment of a new chief of police. Lee Noonan has more. Police Board Governance Committee's mandate will now include recruitment not only of the chief, but also deputy chief and board members, as well as development, education, and a variety of policy and procedural matters. In addition to the three community reps, three board members will also sit on the committee. Board Secretary John Hannum prepared the motion at the request of Administrator Malcolm Mercer. Aside from just resources, the other advantage to citizen appointees is they, they bring a community perspective to us from different, sometimes from especially particular areas of the community and, and uh, communities uh, within the broader uh, region and uh, their, own, their own experience and expertise. The motion was passed by Mercer, who has the only vote, despite objections from Mayor Bill Morrow, who wanted to defer the decision until after the municipal election when new board members will be appointed. You're going to give a committee of unelected people influence on decision making um, on some weighty issues. And while the final decision remains with the board, the recommendation will be public and will be in front of the board and can put them in difficult positions based on what those recommendations are. Mercer, however, said it's even more important to get added perspective on the matters that are before the board now and as the new board gets on its feet. I think there is great value in ensuring that uh, uh, that there is representation of perspective from the uh, communities served by the Police Services Board. There was no discussion as to how the three new citizen committee members would be recruited. For now, with two vacant seats on the board, all three current board members will be invited to sit on the committee, as will Mercer through to the end of his term. Lee Noonan, TBT News.